just pop the shit, just pull it for yourself. Can I have some too? Oh, I thought you went drinking. <laughs> yeah, he ate. Hey, hey, nice hey, 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 man. Hey, man. Earlier. Well, you see how he popped the bottle yeah. and passed it away. I ain't I even get go. to hit it, man. You let Suge Knight hit it before I did. I think it's that shit. Y'all can't see it, but man, play with him. You gonna be over the motherfucking roof, man. Fuego. Welcome to another episode of Fuego. That part, puta. Welcome, motherfucker. Hey, look, we got a really cool show though today, STZ. Yes, sir. We got a really yes, cool show today, Spirit God. Yes, we do. Look yes, we, we do. got in the middle of us right here, man. It's a fly individual we got right here. You feel me? Go uh, ahead and introduce yourself to the, the audience. My name is Young Slap. I'm a musician out of South Los Angeles, California. That part. South LA in this motherfucker. So lie in this motherfucker. So, what we drinking today, STZ? We got some bourbon. Some bourbon whiskey. Some, who? some bourbon whiskey. Some what? Some bourbon whiskey. Some bourbon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where the bourbon come from and all that? Yes, sir. Uh, this bourbon? Well, yeah. it ain't bourbon if it don't come from Kentucky. So, Slap, you fuck with bourbon? Nah, I'm a tequila nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, 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 okay. Hey, y'all okay. see how smooth he said that shit okay, just okay. shut us down like, uh, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, for sure, you know, you know, that's, you know, I feel you. I'm stressed. I feel you. It, it looked like you walked in here with some shit, though, because, like, you one of them drinkers, huh? Nah, I champagne, you know. A little champagne? A little light. Okay, a little light. But, hey, so, hey, y'all, he came as a guest and brought something, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, kudos, you know what I'm saying, to my boy right here. Man, is, it, is there a little yeah. certain reason why you uh, only fuck with the tequila? You had like a crazy ass drunk story or something? Something you fuck with something wrong? It was like, oh, no, I just only fuck with the tequila. Now, honestly, dark really don't get me there. Like, okay. It don't get me there. Like, tequila get me to where I want to be. Like, it's not turn up juice for you? All right. Nah, it, it don't, though. Like, especially Hennessy. The only thing I can say Ooh. is some Remy. Some Remy get me there, though. Hey, man, tell us a little bit about yourself, bro. Like, you know, being from like South LA. What, 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 what was it like, bruh? Like, I I could give my definition of what it was like, you feel me? But yeah. today, man, we here to we here to hear from Young Slap, my boy. So what was it like growing up in South LA, my boy? I mean, it was a lot of hardships, as usual, at any, you know, ghetto trenches or whatever. But, you know, I was from a broken home, just looking for an outlet or looking for, you know, the same struggle as everybody else. And, you know, I was a, a youth authority baby. So, hey, shout out to all the youth authority niggas. Yeah, it was no, it was no, it was, no, it was not a lot of outlets for us though. That's something that was true. Like in the community, is is definitely not a lot of outlets for the youth. No, for real though. And that's what we basically was looking for. Like the more outlets and community centers that bring more, just like knowledgeable, you know, seeking everything like from educational programs to like the YMC, YMCA's or the basketball programs. But we didn't have a lot of that growing up. But the ones we did, you know, that's where the community came together. That made sense. That's crazy. Hey, where so what what was you uh what did you do? Were you like Pop Warner, what baseball, football? I did what everything. My pops had me in everything. Oh gang. Like when I say from a broken home, it's like it's two stories on my side. Like I actually had a father that was in the household. From like seven or eight years old. So shout, I out, seen, shout, out, okay. shout out to that black man. Shout yeah, out to so that I see he was a real father, whatever happened, whatever that's you know, but other than that, I seen that he had me in every sports, from Pop Warner to uh, running track to basketball. But the most one I really liked was uh, basketball, and I was really good at. But when I lost my father figure, it was like who could coach me at, at you know? And that's when I started. Oh, that was a bar, you know, for looking real. for love, and that's when you know, street poly or got into the street acts or just wilding out periods in schools and stuff. Part right there though, I can definitely. Hey man, kudos to you, bro. I can relate to that shit on you, yeah. because you know it happens. Like just looking for. That's why I said most of the people that was from the streets, we was all looking for like a father figure. And then we look up. You know, some people say they big homies or they join gangs. Mentorship. Yeah. Some type of mentorship. Exactly. The lead and guide the way. Exactly. Since there's no programs and stuff, or not saying no programs, but we wasn't educating on the programs, we start joining gangs or. Just looking for stuff, street violence, just, just just acting out. But we're really looking for love and like a hug. Somebody just be like, we love you. Yeah. Um, or, but a lot of adults don't really like be here for the youth. That. Yeah, they don't be here for the youth that. like that. Like So it's like 
We had to look, we had the streets kind of raised us, but that's what we never wanted. We Man. wanted somebody to come through. Like, you know, people got like people mentors and stuff, but us growing up, our mentors was sad to say, well, you know, different. Some people was gang members, some people were not the right people. But some we ain't never had music. Them. Yeah, music. Nigga, that was my yeah. dad, nigga. Man. Music, yeah. Tupac, cuz. Yes. Yeah. Tupac. And he wasn't even from fucking LA. Like, that's fucking crazy. This nigga he was from a whole other state, nigga. Yeah, he was a big influence, though. <laughs> a big, this nigga influenced the whole LA, nigga. And he wasn't from here, cuz. It was just the message he was. He was yeah. blooding. He was doing everything. And this nigga wasn't even from the land, bro. It that 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 that's that's just called crazy energy. Or and you know he was an actor, so man, shout out to Tupac. I like I I really appreciate everything he did. But yeah, shout out to the Bay. It be yeah. like yeah, bro. It be like the nigga like touched a lot of places because uh really the essence of what dude came from. Like he came from a lot of substance though. You know you gotta think of the Panther movie. He had a strong black oh, mother that. though. Yeah, it, 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 you heard that the, you that heard part, him. That part. Come on, now. we gotta clap you up now. That's a that's a clap. Y'all like go clap to the strong black mothers or what? Man, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Shit. All right. Okay. Thank you. Strong black mothers love y'all out there. Any any race of black of any race of mo- black mother can make any race of human. Yeah. So any so race though, that, uh, what's of called? mother the Eve out there, yeah. the Eve gene. God bless you, cause shit, it's hard raising kids. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a dad, and I'll be like, you know. You know, I don't got the hard part. You feel me? I got the easy part of everything. Like, you ain't got to birth the baby. You ain't got to let the baby suck on your teeth. Yeah, I ain't got to do none of that. But <laughs> be there for you when you fall and you scrape and have some bread and have a bag. You feel me? That's really it, being a dad. You know what I'm saying? And some love. So, man. So, what man. the f- fuck are we drinking, man? Man, we if, got if this. If we drinking. We got we this. Drinking? Yeah, we got this bourbon. This bourbon whiskey. This, this bourbon. This bourbon. bourbon whiskey. This bourbon whiskey. What do you want this book? Uh, uh, all right, so whiskey, there's seven different types of whiskey. Seven different types of seven whiskey. Seven different types of whiskey. If you're like in the whiskey. Seven different types. You got a heavenly. Yeah. That means whiskey is a heavenly drink. Yeah, um, whiskey's one of the original drinks. Mm, heard that shit. We can, uh, whiskey for over a thousand years. Yeah, it go back to even. You go way back. Slavery, all them. They you go way back. For real? Slavery? It go back, man. It go back before that. Well, damn. I don't want to okay, cool be, you know, say something that's not. Uh, I want to say, was it the first not like l- like liquor in a way? Yeah, it okay, is. Okay. It's one of the original okay, drinks. Okay. okay, see, see, education. Yeah, 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 yeah. I come on this thing. I learned something about this shit. But not. Oh, do I get the whole bottle? See, that's my niggas. See, real niggas fuck with me. Uh, ST, see, I'm gonna be nice. ST, did you get some? Yeah, most definitely got some. Oh, fuck y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Well, nah, my fault, bro. Man. Sorry, I'm drinking tonight. Oh, hey, some, it's, it's, hey, do it safely, y'all. Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Don't do it. It's some champagne. We won today. I'm riding far in the day. Man. <laughs> Go oh, there, hey. Good job. Good job, Slap. Good job. <laughs> now, but we got this uh this bourbon whiskey. All right, so there's seven different types of whiskey. You got um Japanese, you got Irish, you got Scottish, you got Tennessee, you got rye, and you um I think there's one more. Can't think in my head. It's one more. Should have wrote that shit down. A bourbon. Yeah, it's written down, but it's in my head. It's only seven of them. You a cold piece, man. Only so, seven of them. Well, okay, so. Which one do we as Americans drink the most? Bourbon. 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 What type of bourbon? Bourbon, Tennessee, or rye. Bourbon, Tennessee, Jack or rye. Is Tennessee whiskey. Okay, so that means now where where is rye made in in the United States? It's a yeah, it's a grain. It's a grain made it's in the United States. They're all different grains. Okay, so obviously the Tennessee. So what shit makes is made the bourbon bourbon, bourbon is it, it's made from uh corn. 50, 51% corn mash. Corn mash. Yeah. So this shit is like they're all different mashes in the rye. Of course, it's the rye mash. You damn mean? near survive off this shit, like yeah. on some food type shit, right? No, never mind. We ain't gonna go there. But yeah, man, shout out Doctor CB. But yeah, uh, <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, real shit though. But nigga, so th- this right here, the funny thing I was watching some shit about moonshine and all that, right? Oh, that, that, that's that white whiskey. That's moonshine, white, white whiskey. So this is not moon. This wouldn't no, be no, considered no. moonshine. No, moonshine also distilled. It isn't distilled in the barrel. It's not finished in the barrel. You seen Slap came over here. It's not finished in the barrel. Like looking like a mafia moonshine maker. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. You see him? Look at that chain. Look at him. Yeah. 
Moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nigga, okay. Hey, but so you and you came here. So like, matter of fact, I see it say Bell Money. We see Bell Money up here. What is Bell Money? Bell Money Records actually. What is Bell Money Records, my guy? Tell us what that is. Bell Money Records. It's a, a company that uh, the name came from my mother. She uh, one day she bailed me out. Well, multiple times she Shout bailed out moms, me out. R.P. Moms, man. Yeah, R.P. Relena Potts. But uh, That's my son right here. <laughs> That's a bar. But she uh, she came up with it. She was just like, you know, son, like you, you, I've been bailing you out. We got bail money. And I was just like, shit, let's come with the company. And me and uh. My other business partner, Paper Films. Shout out Paper Motherfucking Films. You back there with Suge back there. I see you, Paper. You know, I'm, I'm going to find out enough of you because Paper a hard motherfucker too, man. He's like, ooh, Paper's like, who the fuck is Paper? Paper's like fucking, ooh, that yeah, nigga is sharp. Like, nah. Like, he, honestly, with him, bro. He, he the reason I started with my rap. Play with him. He so, exactly. with that being said, honestly, bro, um... Yeah, what is it, bro? What is it that keep you going? What keep you hungry in this shit, man? Like, like, cause I know it'd be like ups and downs. It be it's a roller coaster in this shit, bro. Like for real, for real. So, what's one of your uh, strongest? Like, you know, it's my family. Like, just this, you know, just to go to another day and the support. Like, I'm bigger than Drake in my family. Like, hey, man. like all everybody play my music. Like when I say that on some, it's like. When you go to family events, just on a regular day, you're going to hear a young slap playing. You know? <laughs> That's a bar. Y'all I heard appreciate that, that, you know what I'm saying? I so it. I just, and my mom always wanted the world to see, so that motivated me. But honestly, I just, I kind of was never into music like that. It was just, you know, you know, the down, you know, everything I was going through. And it, it was a distraction to me. But music did save my life, too. Just, Man, you know. I can definitely kudos and contest to that, bro, real shit. Because I didn't, instead of being in the streets, I was in the studio like certain times. Or when I got joint suspension, I was with my girl and I had the studio. So I could say, you know, music really saved my life. Well, um, if you could like in, in, like delve into that, like what was uh, what was the issue for like the joint suspension? I know a lot of young, but a lot of young artists right now, like... They don't even understand the fucking judicial system. We 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 started it off talking about judicial system. So like, what like what was your issue and like you know how did you overcome it? Uh, I just caught a. I was catching like a couple cases that was you know, and I took a joint suspension. Or something like you take time and then your probation got to be up. So I was young at the times and I was you know the judge you know he he was like okay I might have potential to be you know whatever I can be. And they let me out with a six-year joint suspension. That just mean a, a suspended sentence. Oh, okay. Mando, Mando, Mando. Catch on, niggas, catch and on. And at the time, Language. it was, you know, one of my best friends got deported. And uh, I just took the deal. I was like, I didn't want to be in jail in a prison. I felt like I could make music or make money. And I didn't need to sit in prison. So I just asked for a joint suspension. My lawyer gave me a joint suspension. But it was it was time. I was when I was young. Like I I tell the youth, I don't praise that. Like like the criminal history of me. Like that's not me as the day. But you know I learned from that. Learn you grow. Yeah, man. So uh, what's one thing you wish you would have known before you started your career that would have helped you along in your career? Credit. <laughs> Nigga. Finance, mortgage, yeah, credit. <laughs> having a trust, insurance, everything with just life. Like, you don't know that when you, you know, like your career or whatever, just life really, just the basic for life. Man, nigga. He said, hey, that part, you know, hey, I'm going to keep it G with y'all, man. This, this independent shit is fucking, even if you know shit, bro, it's not. It's not a walk in the park. You feel me? You are gonna run into some roads. It, I'm gonna keep it G with you. Anything that is a walk in the park, it ain't even meant for you, and you probably not gonna keep that shit. So if if God don't make you or whatever you believe in, whatever ambience don't create no type of like, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, uh, st- uh, struggle, bro. Struggle c- allows you to be able to keep something. You feel me? This is why a lot of rich people blow their brains out if they go poor. But if you poor, you get rich. You go poor, 
you just might be able to get rich again because you didn't been through a point of life where it was like, bro, I have nothing. I understand what it feels like to have nothing. I know that at this moment right now, I got to keep something. And that's another reason why a lot of these niggas are stingy. You feel me? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let's break the fuck up out of that. Y'all start. T- if you got a bag, teach the, ne- the next man how to, get how to get the bag so he ain't got to come rob you for it. But that's a good thing. That, that, was, that was really my issue back then. It's like, nigga, y'all not trying to show a nigga how to make no money. So I know you got it. I'm about to come take it from you. You feel me? And it's like, man, we really needed mentors. Like, yeah. I know I did. Like, for real. That shit was, uh, that was really it, though. You feel me? And it was like, I had to bump my head a bunch of times to figure it out. Like, bro, like, I got to work hard. I got to work smart. And, you know, I got to, like, shit just... Play with the cards that I'm yeah. dealt with, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy though. You gotta think about in the black the black community, we don't got like our business is one of the low. We don't got a lot of black businesses. Like we the least of the cultures that have, you know, I say, yeah, businesses. Like when you go in LA, how many black businesses it is that we support? Wow. Even from brands from Nike to Armani to Louis, we all wearing everybody brand, but <laughs> A lot of uh, black wealth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Black wealth. We don't have that black wealth. I, can't, you know, I wouldn't. Me some I, Nike bag. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah, you're you right. It's you know? a, I mean, it's a lot, but I could say it's it's a lot of people that's wealthy. They're not putting their money together and giving the resources because. Yeah, there you go. If they, we do, I ain't going to say we got a lot of black wealth. I just feel like us as black people just got to put more black businesses in the community. Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to chime in on that one. It's the black dollar. So the black dollar is not circulating within the black community. Exactly. There, are, there, are, there, are, there are tons of black millionaires. Like, they, they don't, you know, it's a bunch of them. And, and, and yes, if we use like a 10% method, 1% method, nigga, a 1% method could help a lot of our community. If every millionaire gave 1% of their motherfucking income, every black millionaire, one nigga, 1% of what you make can fucking help the community that you make a lot of money off of, nigga. I, we was, th- we, we, I, I, I was on there getting, you know, I'm bald head and shit, but I, I was in the barber shop getting my shit, you know, did, done, done, whatever the fuck that's called. And and niggas was talking about Corona, right? And I was like, bruh, downtown, bruh, niggas living, niggas is living in in, in, in tents, bruh. I, why them niggas was alive down there, bruh, when Corona hit? I'm just saying, like, I don't understand that one. Where and it was like numbers of people was dying everywhere, right? But it's the niggas is out there, like living. <laughs> they was alive, nigga, without without no vaccine or none of that shit. So I'm like, hold the fuck up, bro. What is bro? What's God really bless, going on? God bless the people that lost their life during that uh the, the, the pandemic and that situation. But it was just like, what the fuck is really going on, bro? Mm. Like, do they have the motherfucking cure down there, nigga? Do you need to be dirty and all that shit to just, like, get away from that shit? Like, God bless y'all. We need to. Everybody <laughs> support downtown, support Skid Row, because it needs help and needs love. But that's the thing, though, where it's like, it was like that part of the community was forgotten about. Nobody, I never heard none of that shit on the news. Nobody was talking about Skid Row on the news mm-hmm. when we was talking about go get vaccinated and how we going to help people get it. You, you got to get vaccinated to go get your job back. To go to work, you had to get a shot. Yeah, they wasn't yeah. playing that neither. So, but if you don't got a job, yeah. guess you just don't need a shot, right? Yeah, they wasn't playing that shit. <laughs> that don't make no sense to me, you feel me? Hey, Spirit God, it's a lot going on over here on these table. Slap pulling up shit. I'm drinking shit. All right, so what you want to get into, man? You want uh, want a shot? We got, man. All right, all right, so, all right, so I'm going to teach you this one little thing, too, though. When you're drinking whiskey, it, all right, so in the whiskey world... It's a uh, whiskey world. Yeah, West whiskey side, world. I'm West gonna tell you. Whiskey I'm gonna world. I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna teach you something. West side whiskey. It's frowned upon to shoot the whiskey. It's frowned like to take a shot. It's frowned upon. Like whiskey's made for sipping. Yeah, I know that shit. All right, look. I'm, I'm gonna keep it hundred. Whiskey's made for sipping. Look, I'm gonna keep it one hundred because I, I, when he said the dark, I'm gonna be real. If I do fuck with dark too, it is whiskey. Cause whiskey gets okay. you there. Like and like when I go to bars and stuff, I get a little whiskey on the rocks. Whiskey on yeah, the rocks. Yeah, okay, it, okay. It get you there. What is, is that? Is that what it's called? Whiskey on the rocks? Nah, I probably get that? some. No, I'll it's get, called on the rocks. Yeah, on the rocks. They put it. Yeah, it's, it's on the rocks. Okay, cool. So now, I got a question. Jack Daniels is that whiskey? That's Tennessee whiskey. That's yeah. Tennessee. Hey, one of the seven I was naming for you. Fucking Pepsi. R.I.P. Pepsi, bro. You gotta say his real name. R.I.P. Fernard Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Fernard Christopher Williams. I love you, dog. Hey, yeah. nigga. 
I got them on the, my knuckles. This nigga, I ain't never. Uh, this is, I don't really drink like that, y'all. Obviously, I don't drink like that, right? Yeah. Man, shout out, uh, shout out, Burger, shout out, uh, shout out, Brandon, shout out, all the, all the three P's, man. I got, I, I got, sorry, I got drunk with Brandon in a big of a big ass cup, of, uh, taka vodka. Fuck me up, I, was, I threw up. I was like, Ooh. he was like, they was like, can you drink, Danny? I was like, yeah, I'll be drinking all the time, nigga. Them niggas gave me a Seven Eleven cup, filled it up, and my stupid <laughs> ass like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the talk of vodka. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, the way that shit was sounding, it was I'm a big pause. Everybody, I'm like, ah, in the cup. I'm uh, like, oh, they don't see me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Over, right? So Chris, like, Chris knew I couldn't drink. So he tried to play me again. We coming out the house. He's like, Denny, <laughs> yeah, I got this. I got this shit just for you. And I'm like, what do you mean just for me? He said, Jack. Daniels, come outside, Daniel. I'm like, oh, this thing is crazy. So I'm like, I, yeah, I can do this. I can drink this shit. It's nothing, bro. Man, I drunk. I was, hey, I, I told you I fell out off that other shit. Y'all heard seen that other episode. I fell out. I was before out. I fell out in the fucking alley off the fucking Jack Daniels, cause I'm trying to get in the house. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not gonna make it up the stairs, Chris. He like, well, I'm going home. I was like, damn, this nigga scared. <laughs> R.I.P. fucking PMC, man. I miss you, bro. But hey, man, you know it's crazy. He passed that same alley I'm talking about. He passed in that fucking alley, bro. Like, like the game is fucking like crazy, man. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's my brother, man, man. So uh, yeah, Pen Wood, man. It's that whole situation, bro. But um, but yeah, nigga, this fucking whiskey shit. This How moon you taste. This, it? You want on the rock? Is that what you, you call it? moonshine? You want on the, no, 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 no. That's that white whiskey. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was moonshine. All right, so uh, let's get drunk then, cause whatever we doing, let's get let's get drunk. You want it neat? You want it straight up? We want it on the rocks? What you want it, man? I I like shit neat, okay. but sometimes you know you know I'm a real blunt motherfucker, so let's straight it up, straight all right, out. All right, so Watch. all right, so let me uh, explain the words. All right, so neat. Yeah, that's right. Neat. Language. They pour the liquor straight out the bottle into your glass. Ah. On the rocks is when they pour the liquor straight into your glass over some ice. Wait, wait, wait! One more time. Ah, let me go know, back cause, I, Cause I was I was trying to catch up Alright so uh, Neat Is straight neat. From the bottle Into the glass In the bottle Alright straight up Is through the shaker it's, it's chilled Straight up is chilled They put it through the shaker Shake it over the ice Drain it Pour it It's cold mm. And then uh, on the rocks That sounds good the on the, on the Wait rocks. hold on what, What's that one again? <laughs> when it's put in there when you on the shake, ice, shake it up and yeah, shit it's chilled I like that That's how cool wanna, That's a player shit do that like, you know, you just right? go to the house, like, I'm be shaking it up for you one time. Like, that's real player. I like that. That's elegant. All right, let's do it. What are we doing? Do it. It's time to drink. It's time. We've been drinking already, motherfuckers. It's time to drink some more. Uh, yeah. Hey, so, so, Slap, man, what um, what you got coming up, bro? What, uh, what you got out, first off? What you got out? Because I know you working. Because you, you wanted them constantly working at. Man, you got... You got that dude. I'm going to give him a name back there. He got to get a boss-ass name. But paper back there, bro, he one of them. Yeah. He got to work, man. I know y'all got a team back there. So what you working on, bro? What's out right now and what, what's coming up? I got an uh, a album called L.A. Baby that just dropped last last week. Okay. And part two going to drop probably next week. And then we got a documentary called Relayna Son that dropped in September. Oh, all right, what uh, what uh, is it on uh, every platform? Yeah, L A Baby on every platform called L A Baby Young Slap Y U N G S L A P. Instagram is Y U N G S L A P. That part, that part. And it's called just L A Baby. You know, do Apple Music, Google, whatever. You can just look it up. It's just L A and a baby. The baby. <laughs> hey, that nigga went crazy on it. Just, it's just really talking about being an LA native. Cause it's so much like it's so many artists that put a, a perception on LA. I'm not saying they doing it wrong, but my perception is different from the other person, you know. Like who are who are some of your um like uh examples, like people you look up to like in this in this whole industry. It don't have to just be music, you feel me? It could be, you know. Shit, acting, entrepreneurship, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, who, who, who slap looking at, man? What you, honestly, what you read, bro? Yeah, honestly, I really don't. It's not nothing like against nobody. I just don't look up to none of them because I have my own story. And I don't think, you know, like, 
you know, anybody in the industry, good. you know, like, I don't know. I just feel like I don't look up to none of these dudes in the industry or like people. I just feel like I got my own inspirations. Way. Yeah, that thing. No, 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 inspiration. Nigga, no one influence. You know. I, I'm slither a little bit. A little I mentorship. See. No one kind of guidance. Nothing. I say my mama and my daddy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yo, yo, no, no P Diddy, no Jay Z. Nah. No, none of that. No, I mean, no shout out to them. You know, I, I look at it like they, you know, they. I uh, salute them as black successful men, but I have my own struggles and my own like you know way of coming up. It's not even a diss towards them. I just didn't look up to them. My influence. On music, really, I wouldn't even post to do music. Like I said again, one of my partners, Paper Films, he literally, I got out of jail one day, and I was with a, uh, I ain't gonna say the rapper name, whatever, but you know, but uh, we was with an organization called Hood's Finest, and uh, and I just got out of jail. I just really, I just, I, I, I think I bonded out that day, and my, you no know, Paper was like, man, this, this dude is kind of talented, man. He was like, you know, whatever, and I was like, for real. But I was just not saying a hopeless kid, but I was just in the streets. And I went into music, and I just started rapping after that. I was just like, dude okay. said, dude said he bailed down and was like straight in the studio. Yeah, it was weird. So I, even that artist, like you know, salute. I just don't want to say his name because you didn't want to be a rapper, but you were supposed to be, yeah, right? How you feel about that? You didn't. It's not what you were supposed to do, but it's like it's your skills, like your talent, your niche. You know what I mean? It's like. It's, it's getting, you know, it's crazy, ain't it? Like, that's now crazy. It, now, it's crazy, but it's like I started off with, like, when I was young, I used to write poetry. I was good at poetry. Oh, wow, okay. So, you know how the two kind of go yeah, hand in hand. Yeah, so when I know how to structure a poem, and a person used to say, he'd be like, bro, if you know how to structure a poem, you could, you could do music. But I used to be like a poet. I used to write just poems. Yeah, writing. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's, it's my friend. It's my friend. <laughs> like, my granny passed. Like, that's how I used to express myself. Man, I used man, to write. Man. Just like poems and stuff. And then I just started liking that. But music was never my thing. Like I never really was like that's why I said I never had no inspiration. Really what inspired me was just my like kinda like my story. I was just I rap about my music if it's it's all facts and like All right, all right. Who was you listening to, nigga? What was right. what was the rappers you was listening to? Nigga? Right. <laughs> Which one like, was that? I know you was listening right, to somebody. Right, you got to uh, Andre three thousand. Okay, Andre. He does not look like an Andre listener. Yeah, two. I, li I like yeah, that. He's different. Tupac. Okay, okay. Get you that one. Get you that one. I get a little Wayne. My, you know, my Teezy. He like he put me on little Wayne. Uh, shout hey, shout out Teezy, man. Nipsey Hussle was he? He was an inspiration though. All on. right, see okay, now. Okay. All right, all right, man. I'm gonna drink to that one, man. Toast to Nip, motherfucking Hussle, motherfucking great. Come on, man. Toast to the great, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where your glass at? Yeah, I just say, I just say. You don't want the whiskey? Oh, all right. They came on the show. He don't want to drink none of our oh, shit. Oh, my fault. Look at him. I see, look at him. I see, oh, mafia ass nigga. Look at him. See, Nip. Nip. Yeah. <laughs> R.P. the Great. Nip, Nip really was like, you know, he speak for the culture. Like, he was one of a kind that spoke for L.A. So, he always going to be a legend in my eyes, whatever it is. And then, you know, Tupac, my daddy was a real Tupac fan. I just... I just remember being a Mr. Bracey. It was a, a doo 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 haircuts on Adams. And his, when you know, when he passed, and my daddy, you know, my daddy, he broke down. Like, I was really like one of his favorite artists, you know. And, you know, other than that, I say Nip, you know, for the community. Yeah. And R.P. Monty from us, Cali Swag District. Oh, man. Yeah, Monty. Damn, uh, Shout out Monty, man. Yeah, that whole period, bro, was just. I, I think control. he was from, you know, Inglewood. He was raised. Yeah, he, you know, uh, he was from Monty. Wood. Shout out, shout out to the Ingles, man. But yeah, that nigga Monte, I was uh, he was uh, he was Adam and Dancer, man. Kelly Swag, man. He had a good spirit. He used to call me John John. You know, nigga, you got to be close to call me John John. No pressure, but y'all gotta finish y'all drinks, man. I need, I need to get y'all ratings on y'all drinks. I need to, see, I need to know how y'all feel about y'all drinks. Y'all gotta hit those. Well, how how y'all feel about? The last two, how do you feel about the last two drinks? I already told you, bro. You prefer with them, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm, about, I'm, about to, I'm about to call the board. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm yeah, yeah. I take that. I'm gonna skip every step. Man. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't know what he got to do, but we need a certificate <laughs> thank tomorrow. You, thank you. Look, he how, doing how you feel, man? He doing the tussie roll. He, he up. <laughs> <laughs> the tootsie. How you do the tootsie roll? Oh shit! Nah, 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 don't the, tell this nigga. He gonna hit it. Do the, the tootsie roll. What's it? Sixty nine boys. That's some nasty shit. We ain't doing that. But nigga, I feel it like all up in here. Mm -hmm. like, it just, okay. 
This is yeah. right here. It's fuck. That's big coming from you. You don't like drinks. Oh. It's big. I need to call that bitch back to her. Be naked. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I walk in, no clothes. I don't want well, fuck. I'm fucking fuck with fuck. both of them. The they both yeah. got me lit. I'm fucking with both of them. They yeah, taste yeah. good. I like I like that uh, shit. Good. The rum. Yeah, yeah man. Whatever you do. Woo! Okay. Bill Money. I'm going to need some Bill Money tonight. Hey, you niggas. Yeah. Is, that niggas cool. Y'all cool. Yeah. I want to be like y'all when I grow up. For real. www.bailmoneyclothing.com. Support. I was about to say, though, where, the, where, where can our the, audience I, find you? Where can they go support? Where yeah. can they look you up? Yeah. I G Y U N G Young you know. S L A P. And then the clothing line is Bail, you know, Bail Money Clothing. Dot com. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know. <laughs> I'm faded as fuck right now. Make sure y'all dig it on. First, you gotta put it on. Let me grab Purchase the merch. Grab this shit. Merch, merch, and the purse. Make sure y'all dig in the purse and purchase the merch. Hey, tell them what's the cash app? What's the what's the, what's the the website to buy the clothes and shit? I like yeah. the blue one. Can I get the blue one? I like the burgundy. You burgundy, like the, burgundy. Look at the blue good, but I like that burgundy over there. The, this for the Crip Streeters. Yeah, that's for everybody, bro. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, not, my bad. My yeah, bad. I no, like yeah. That. That's what I said. Ain't no know. gang. All that gang shit is dead. Hey, that gangs are dead. dead. We, we, we building family. We building money. We building financial literacy. So that double concludes back. it. That concludes it. I'm double back. To, uh, <laughs> you ain't never hit it like this. episode though. of Fuego. <laughs> he dug it in the pussy. <laughs> you want to carry the way, my man, uh, Herbal? I'm a cat daddy in that bitch. Oh, shit. He cat daddy in. He going to carry the way. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? I'm like, shut up. Shut up. Wheelchair, bitch. Do it, do it, y'all. Do it, do it, y'all. Do it, do it, y'all. So shout out to y'all motherfucking ass. Engage. Comment. Go holler at my boy, Young Slap. Find him on every other one. Subscribe. Subscribe. That part. Wait, you got a cash app? New yeah, video. New video come out. Trenches. Why you in GSA trenches? Shout sure y'all go watch that. Yeah. Man, shout out. Shout yeah. out my nigga. That's why YouTube. Bell Money Records in this motherfucker, man. Shout out to my bro. I boys, appreciate, man. you know, Sharif. I appreciate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Salute. That's the spirit God over there. He's appreciate the you too, big dog. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Salute to the spirit God. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, got, you got a hum cuz. He get a yeah. hum. Yeah. Like, you know, I said the spirit guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharif Herbal. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Salute for them to have me come. Shout out to the whole family, whatever. I really appreciate you, man. I think I actually I just thank you for coming, man. Cause uh, you know you appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making time for me, man. man. Hey, and tell them if they want to book you, how can they book yeah. you, bro? Nah, book me, young slap. I right, go through paper films, bro. It's two. We we here together. And RP to my mother, uh Relaina Potts. RP. 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 RP to uh Skip and everybody else. RP, RP skip, to my mama man. though. They skip. She had a big influence on my life. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> and you right, so that is uh what? Another episode of Fuego. Oh shit. Oh shit. We'll just stop it, bitch. <laughs> it's about to get cracking tonight. Fuego. It's over, can I be done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you, you actually, that, that's really what it is. Hey, 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 niggas. Hey, niggas. Boom. Shoot them up, gang bang, bow, bow, bow. I know you just want to hug. I know you just need some love, okay? You feel me? Blood, gang, yeah, banging, nah, everybody in the party doing dope slanging. Yeah, you feel me? So I feel you, man. You know, just a hug, nigga. Um, you just pop the shit and just pull it for yourself. Can I have some too? Oh, I thought you went drinking. <laughs> yeah, he ate. The hey, homie did slice his cup to the side on there earlier. Well, he you see he how he popped the yeah. bottle and pass it away. I ain't nah, even get go. to hit it, man. You let Suge Knight hit it before I did. I think it's this. That's why he's getting back there. Y'all can't see him, but man, play with him. You gonna be over the motherfucking roof, man. Ah, my bad, y'all. <laughs> All right, so the drinks was fuego. I hate getting drunk, man. This shit sucks.
All right, all right. All right, so the drinks was Fuego. Everything was Fuego. How you feeling? Fuego? Blessed. Highly favorite. How you feeling Fuego? You over there a little hot? I'm, uh, you know, my little bald head. <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm spread with some uh, some uh, man after all. You know, y'all know nothing about that. When you get bald, you will. But it's player shit. <laughs> Keep your shit cool. 